Next I've got the Pulsar Apex XD75 running to my mini DVR. I just hit the semi-auto calibrate. So on the uh, rotary uh, thumb wheel switch, just depress it until you get to the M1 setting. First setting is the mode. You can select mountains, forest. I typically go forest for hunting in the Midwest here. Hit the button once to accept it. Go down to calibrate. I like H for semi-automatic. You can go A for automatic or M for manual. The uh, reason why I choose the semi-automatic is typically when I'm about ready to make the shot, I want to uh, be able to control the calibrate. If you go to automatic, typically what happens is as you're panning, the scope will try to calibrate depending on the external conditions. Go down to the third setting is the rifle setting. You have the capability of choosing three different uh, rifle settings, which I immensely use and recommend. Next setting is the reticle. It has uh, ten settings. There's one. Pretty awesome feature. I typically like number eight. It has the least obstructive view for the uh, kill shots. There's nine. I've used that before also. There's ten. has a nice circle. Go back to eight. Hit the button once. When it flashes. Nope. When, uh, when you make a selection and it flashes, that means it's accepted it. I just hit the calibrate there. Do you see how the vertical lines disappeared? go back into the menus and I'm just rotating the switch clockwise counterclockwise that's your uh, your display see how I'm changing that actually we'll go back to the white you actually see that better next one is your reticle color you can go black or white Select that, it flashes for confirmation. Next one is PIP, picture in a picture. Love that feature, I always turn it on yes. Okay, we'll go back to the top level. Now you see the M1 flashing, hit the button once, you go to M2. First selection is your crosshair, that's your X and Y coordinates. Typically when I uh, first sight in, just to give you guys uh, some information feedback, I'll fire a shot. And then what I do is, it's kind of like archery, I just chase the bullet hole. So, if you're shooting low or high, the X setting, right there, I'm going to remember 8 and 2. See how, how the crosshair moves? We'll go back to 8. And then Y. See how that moves? Go back to 2. That's my setting. Okay, accept that. Here's Snowflake. Okay. This is for the guys that like to do the video. NTSC is typically uh, United States. PAL is European. Stick with NTSC. There's your clock setting. This is uh, your Wi-Fi uh, for your remote control, which I also use as well. That's your one-shot zero function. I do not use that. And the last one is uh, to reset your factory default. So like I've stated previously in other videos, set up on the uh, many selections for the Pulsar line of thermal scopes and, and monoculars, they're the same. Once you learn the menu structure, it's very easy. Uh, we'll go ahead and press the thumb wheel. Actually, I'm sorry, I, I just actually rotated it. That's your brightness control. Press it again, there's your contrast. Press it again, there's your zoom feature. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.
called the Invisible Man Pulsar Night Vision. Talk about a crystal clear. This is the Pulsar Apex XD75 with the OLED display. Phenomenal. Those deer are in excess of 600 yards away, I'm guessing. Definitely can make them out. Try to focus on the pit there. What a beautiful evening. My buddy said he just seen an owl. It's an owl just sitting right there in the field. Another animal back there. Not sure if that's a deer or not. We'll show you just how clear. Look at this building. I mean, that's just phenomenal. It's 10.33 p.m. Look at that. It's just like daytime. Look in the woods. These woods are probably 300 yards away easily. Start scanning. Deer. Those are woods up top of the hill. Those are easily by 800, maybe a thousand yards. Definitely a awesome scoop here. I got it set on black hot right now. I'll go back to white hot see what this deer look like. It's white hot right there. Still can definitely make out their shape. 